see if this works so Mike had to work late I think it's a bullshit story and he's making me videotape this so let's see how it works I'm gonna follow his instructions the ingredients are down below first of all I'm gonna go get the chicken and bring it in On, on, on. <clears throat> Aztec chicken corn soup two, two, two. Recorded before one with the magic of technology. So here we are on Aztec chicken corn soup eve. And uh, you know, I could, I could just dice up some chicken and chuck it in that soup and it'll be just fine. That's not enough for us here at the Galley of the Sun. We're gonna give it some extra flavor. So, in my uh, Ziploc bag here, I got a couple pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. To that, I'm gonna add some Apple Chipotle Sweetwater Spice Company brand brine. So, gonna put about a cup of it in there and then fill the rest with water, give it a damn good shake, and then into the refrigerator for overnight so it'll be ready for us tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, this stuff is absolute pure gold. We get ours from uh, All Things Barbecue out of Wichita, Kansas, where good people come from. ATBBQ.com. Give it a try. So I'm gonna get some water in this, get it filled up, get the air out, get it in the fridge. We'll see you tomorrow when we're cooking this stuff. chicken into bite-sized chunks. Don't get any excited ideas that Tammy's going to do this again because she's not. Okay, because we played with raw bird, we got to wash our hands. Next step is to broil the tomato, which I've already done, and the skin is off. Doing the tomato is easy. You just put it in under broil until it starts to char and the skin will peel away. Next, we're gonna add our broth, corn, and some salt to a large saucepan. So it calls for two 10 ounce frozen deals of corn. Since we have a jumbo size, I'm gonna estimate. Get that heating up and then on to the next step. We're cooking that until it is boiling, and then we'll remove part of that and put it in the blender to blend up the corn. While we do that, we're gonna get some butter melting so that we can fry our green chilies and our onion. Take the chicken, <laughs> and we're gonna partially cook it so that it doesn't take as long to cook in the soup. And am I secretly hoping that these cameras aren't recording and this isn't recording? Yes, I am. But I tried. You're doing fine. Keep going. I'm going to cut the core out of our tomato. Because it's not cooked, we just did it so that it charred the skin to help remove it. Chop it into some big pieces here. One thing he didn't have on his list that I'm going to add to it is just a little bit of cumin to help make this a little bit more Mexican. Because where can you go wrong with Mexican? Add in the green chilies. I'm going to 
This is where he went wrong letting me do this because I can't follow a recipe. I'm going to chop up the tomatoes a little bit so that we can add them to the onions and the green chilies. We're also going to add a little bit of the oregano to the onions and the green chilies and the tomatoes. And I think we need a little bit more corn. that corn a little bit of time to heat up and then we're going to reserve a little bit of the corn. So I took out about a cup and a half to two cups of the corn kernels and set them aside. Now I'm going to put the rest in the blender. To the corn we're going to add our onion, tomato, and green chili mixture. And if you have a small blender you can do this in multiple batches. Just some of the chicken broth to add some moisture. Make sure the lid's on there tight and blend it up. Doesn't take too long. We're going to add this back to the broth mixture. Carefully so it doesn't splatter. The rest of our onions and green chilies and tomatoes, the left we reserved. that a good stir. Add in our chicken and then add in the remaining corn that we put aside. Now that we have everything mixed in there we're just going to let it simmer until we're ready to eat or the chicken is fully cooked. Okay before judgment um, here's what happened. I got called away on work, so I figured the video was going to happen. The director here heroically fixed the dinner. Unfortunately, the very last shot had no audio, so we have made this a second time, and now we're ready for judgment. So here we go. The judgment of the director. what you think? It's a good sign that she took two bites before she said something. Very good. Lots of flavor. A little bit of bite. Not terrible. I like it. All right, there you go. Aztec corn soup. Relatively easy to make. Takes a little bit of time, but uh, yeah, well worth it. So hey, thank you so much for joining us today. Until we see you next time, fair winds and following seas. Thank you.